Hello everybody, John here from Reflections of Our Life. Um, today we've got a special video. Um, this video I'm going to actually be doing a new bike review. Um, and for full disclosure, I was uh, given this bike to do this review on. But other than that, I've not been paid, I've not been asked to um, say anything specific. Nothing but my true thoughts about this bike kind of excited about it i've been excited for the last couple of weeks waiting for it to get here and i kind of teased it a little bit on my last video um gave a few specifics uh the motor size um a few other little details about it but the day is finally here and i get to show you the bike so watch this little pictorial of my unboxing didn't want to do a separate unboxing video so I just I put in a couple pictures just to show you how the bike comes whenever uh, it arrives to your house so watch this I'll be back in just a second the bike comes as all folding bikes do in a nice box a uh, nice heavy-duty box uh, comes in a couple bags uh, I've got the outside bag opened up it holds some spray foam in the bag there you can see the spray foam They've spread it on each corner around the bottom. Uh, nice shipping method. There I've got the bag down. You can see the foam a little bit better. And uh, this picture, I've got the foam out. And we're just left with the bike and the bag. Uh, I've opened the second bag. There you can see a little bit of styrofoam wrapped around some of the pieces that touch to keep it from getting scraped. Um, this picture uh, started to take some of them off. Uh, there's the handlebars. Um, you have to put the handlebars in the stem before you actually extend the stem or it won't uh, fit. The wires aren't long enough. There's the handlebars in the stem and uh, extended. Then you've got the folding pedals. They come attached. They are plastic instead of metal. Um, then all you have to do is just flip them down and, and you're ready to go. And there's the finished product. Uh, that's one side of the bike, and uh, here in just a second, you'll see the other side of the bike all put together, ready to go. Looking pretty good. Comes with the uh, two amp charger and a bag of tools. I thought it was going to be a three amp charger. Turns out it's a two amp. There's a picture of a sticker on the battery. Uh, it's a 48 volt, uh, 13 amp hour battery. Okay, so I guess that gave away the name of the bike, right? <laughs> anyway, so you guys have come here to see the bike. So that's what we're going to do. So I'd like to introduce to you the Rattan LM750. And here we are. I apologize for the sun. Seems like every time I'm out here trying to do a video, the sun's in a weird spot to where um i'm getting a little bit of shadow as you saw just a minute ago i'm in my short sleeves today we're only about a week away from christmas and uh i almost feel like i could take a dip in the pool out here today but anyway we've got the Rattan lm 750. now this bike comes in a couple different formations uh well they've got the 750 lm which is this one they also have an LF750, and that would be a step-through frame. So instead of having this straight frame, it kind of dips way down and up in. So all this isn't here. It's a little step-through, which is pretty nice. Um, this is the regular version, the LM750. They also have a 500-watt motor. And I'll tell you the price differences a little bit later, but, um, you know, just like most folding bikes, and this is a folding bike, um, very similar. Um, you know, most of these bikes are made in the same place. Um, a lot of them use the same components. It just depends on, uh, the actual design that they want to use. So this one as opposed well for those of you that know the bike that i ride now and i'm not really going to mention it too much in this video because it's about this bike 
um, but it has the thicker crossbar you know up here between your legs between the front wheel and the seat um, this one's got a much thinner one because as you can see the battery is behind the seat now I'm not real sure if I like that or not um, I kind of like the battery hidden but that battery is easier to get to it does lock in there so you need the key or a blowtorch to get it out um, uh, you also have to take the seat off you know unhook the seat post it's got a quick release uh, right here so release it pull the seat stem out unlock the battery with the key and then you can use the handle here and you can just pull that battery out and this whole piece is the battery I think it's called a silverfish design um, but uh, you know like a lot of the other bikes it comes with fenders the fenders are plastic which you know that's okay that's fine uh, the one that I have are metal but I'd say the plastic probably cuts down on weight and um, and uh, honestly you know I'm fine with that um, it does have a rack this rack does not come off the one that I have they, they do come off if you want this one's welded on so I'd say that it's probably a little bit a uh, little bit more sturdy maybe um, I'm not exactly sure the weight limit on the rack I know the overall weight limit on this bike is about 330 pounds I think is the max weight uh, but it does come with this little spongy seat on the back so you know you wouldn't want to put a baby or a toddler on there but you know you could have somebody you know middle school age whatnot uh, decent sized person not an adult for sure because the two of you you don't want to weigh over over 330 um, but somebody could ride on the back of there if you want again this bike is like most folding bikes um, on this one it's got this little latch that you have to raise up you pull this out and then the thing folds back in the middle um, once you put it back you lock that in place put that down uh, we've got the uh, folding pedals now these are plastic they're uh, some sort of uh, engineered material they're really really tough plastic I haven't even ridden this bike a mile yet so uh, we'll see how those work um, but this bike has uh, the 52 uh, tooth cog up front like most uh, most of these uh, fold away e-bikes do it's got the uh, seven speed seven gear uh, Shimano Turney TZ uh, derailleur on it seven speed um, I guess to go back up with the gears it's got the Shimano seven speed um, SIS you know with the buttons this goes up this brings the gears back down um, you know it's a Shimano it's not top of the line by any means it's not totally the bottom of the line I actually like this one some of the more expensive one takes up so much room that they end up putting the throttle on the left side and I always like the throttle on the right and this has a spinning throttle uh, handlebar grips look a lot like most uh, bikes are seem to have this type of grip anymore my bike my current bike has that as well um, it's got the GDO6 computer. We'll look about that a little bit later. Um, actually has, it says Rattan. The uh, spec sheet that I have says uh, that this is some sort of a Shimano uh, brake lever. The brakes work really nice. Grip. Here's your, uh, your buttons to turn your computer on, the electric one on your bike. You know, you long press on the M turns it on and then you've got your select buttons up and down we'll go over that just a little bit more later um, this bike comes with a front suspension now this is a non adjustable front suspension so far I really like it um, seems to be a really good suspension so far again I haven't ridden it very far but in coming videos you guys will see just how well it works uh, it's got a pretty nice front light on it haven't been out on it at nighttime 
so we will test that out a little bit later in the future um, this bike has 180 millimeter uh, rotors up front these rotors here 180 millimeters the back one is 160 not exactly sure why they decided to put a 160 on the back and a 180 on the front um, you know the front usually has a little more stopping power when you're talking about cars and I guess even motorcycles maybe that's why I don't know maybe it has to do with the motor size uh, or maybe the brake or it, it's hard to tell but 160 millimeter on the back 180 on the front um, it's got a nice strong kickstand you can see that right there nice strong kickstand see there's where you put the key in the battery and it's got a suspension seat post so yes this does come with suspension forks and suspension seat post um, I, I rode this thing about a half a mile out the road and back and the seat that comes with it along with the suspension seat post um, seems to do the job for me those of you that know me have watched my videos know I'm a bigger than normal folk <laughs> I'm a bigger than normal guy I should say um, I'm actually about I don't know somewhere between 290 and 300 pounds about six feet tall 511 six feet tall um, and that seat post seems to work fine for me um, it does have, like I said, that had the front headlight. It's got a back light. They're integrated into the to the battery, and that does operate as a brake light. Let me show you. You can turn the key on here. Okay. Now I don't have the lights on, but if I hit the rear brake, I don't know if you can see it or not. I'm not even sure if it's picking up on film, but uh, anyway, I think it picked up, <laughs> but that, that lights up. Maybe I'll push it over in the shade in just a minute if it didn't come out. Um, let's see. Now, this bike does have the four inch wide tires, which I absolutely love. It's not the three inch. It's the four inch tire. Um... Let's see. It's an aluminum aluminum bike. I like the color. This comes in different colors, by the way. Um, this is the green. It's like an army olive green. I kind of like that with the black. It also comes in an all black and an all gray, kind of a silverish gray. The step through actually comes in, I think, black, red, and purple. So uh, you could, don't get the green with the step through, but they've got red and purple, which are kind of unusual for the e-bikes um trying to think if i forgot anything again this is a, like a lot of these fold-up bikes um you know it's got the post here you open this up and this the whole thing folds down so that you can fold it into your vehicle uh right here's a quick quick uh fastener open it up and you can raise or lower this this will raise actually farther up than i need it to my current bike, I've got that raised as far as it'll go, and I could actually raise it up a little bit more if I if I was able to. This one actually uh, is high enough the way it is, and I've still got a lot of a uh, lot of room there. Like I said, I'm about six feet tall, and the seat is plenty. Seat post is plenty long for me. I'd say you could be six six or 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 better. And would still be good on this there's that much still left in the in the uh, tube uh, for adjustments um, let me go ahead and I'll turn this on for you so again with these you just push and hold down the center button the M button and it comes on uh, this is pretty nice uh, one thing I like about this, and it, again, it shows your power, your speed, your pedal assist, which I'm in zero. Odometers, as you can see, I've got no miles on it. Um, but right here, these four zeros with the W, 
see if you can see that that actually shows you the watts that you're using uh, which my other bike does not but I really like that feature I was going up the little hill in front of my house uh, the day that I got it a day or two ago and uh, it actually went over a thousand watts so I guess this is a 750 watt nominal motor and it probably peaks up you know over a thousand watts when you're going up the hill um, I did notice this bike is very very peppy um, more so than my current bike uh, which I'll get to in just a minute um, but uh, but yeah um, I really like the look of this bike myself um, I'm gonna go ahead and end this part here and we'll load up and uh, we'll take a quick ride out the road and uh, we'll talk a little bit more about this and how it how it handles a guy my size all right folks we're out here on the bike finally and uh, kind of playing with this thing so you can see it the Sun's kind of hitting it strange every now and then you know there's a couple things I'm noticing on this bike besides it having a heck of a lot of power uh, I mean holy smokes I don't know if you can hear the motor kick in whenever I engage it, but you can definitely hear a whine. You can maybe keep your eye on this, uh, these four zeros right now, currently, but that's the watts that it's pulling. And remember, this is a 750 watt motor. So as I'm taking off, it's up to, it was up to nine something there for a second. And, uh, but one thing I've noticed with this bike, which is uh, different from the one that I currently have, depending on your assist, you can see right there I'm in zero, which is no assist, it's just a regular bike. And you have one, two, three, four, five assists levels. Um, the throttle is tied in to whatever assist level you're at. So if assist one is right about five miles an hour, I think, on this bike, eh, about seven, about seven miles an hour, if I hit the throttle right now, it uh, keeps me there, and it won't let me go any faster. No, <laughs> thank you. But, um... yeah so it won't let me uh it won't let me really kick in the throttle okay so i put it up on assist five and now look this is a very steep hill i'm almost 300 pounds and you can see i'm gaining uh gaining speed One other thing I noticed, you know, I've always talked about the way I start out on the bikes. I usually throw my leg over the seat and uh, use the throttle to get going. And then once I get going a few feet and get my balance, then I, you know, kick my other leg over, start pedaling, and then there we go. This bike has this bike has cruise control um, and it's way and my other bike does too but the cruise control on this bike is way different with my other bike you actually have to turn on the cruise control with a button you might be able to hear that squeaking sound it's the new tire whoa I started to pedal and it just about popped a wheelie on me um, 
maybe I better put it down at zero while I'm standing kind of solid but uh yeah now I better put it one this is a pretty steep parking lot actually but uh anyway you know you're generally going to have that throttle kind of full force for probably four or five seconds before you you know get your bearings and start pedaling the way the assist or the uh cruise control works on this bike is if you have the throttle in the same position for five seconds it automatically locks into cruise control which can be a little scary if you've never been on an e-bike before so for those of you thinking about buying this bike and it's your first e-bike keep that in mind shoot i've been riding my e-bike now for a year and uh it kind of took me by surprise. Um, you assume whenever you're throttling that when you let off, you're going to stop going forward. But if you do it for more than five seconds and you're just trying to catch up with somebody or get to the top of a hill, once you get to that person or the top of the hill, um, it's going to keep going with you. I mean, full, you know, full whatever you had it at. So you almost have to tap your brakes any time that, uh, that you know that you've given throttle for at least five seconds wide open or at least anywhere at you know, the same speed. You almost have to tap your brakes to make sure it's not going to take off with you. You know, if, you, if I was doing that coming up this hill to the sign and there was a car coming, I let off my throttle thinking I'm going to you know pr stop pretty quick because i'm going uphill that throttle when i let off it just might take me right into that car so be very aware of that um if ratten's looking you might want to change how that engages my other bike you have to hold the throttle in the same spot and then hold down a button for five seconds and then it locks in that way it doesn't kick in when you're not really expecting it to. Uh, but those are the two issues that I've found so far. The uh, cruise control, you've really got to watch. And you don't have full power of your throttle unless you're in pedal assist 5. Um, if you're in pedal assist 1, you give it a wide open throttle. 7 miles an hour is the most you're going to hit. You know, if you're in pedal assist two, which will take you about 10 miles an hour, and you want to hurry up and get out of the way of something, you're not going to go any faster because your throttle is only going to take you as fast as whatever the pedal assist you're in. Mm -hmm. So with this bike, you've got to kind of play with your pedal assist buttons a little bit more than most other e-bikes that I've, you know, ridden and seen. And then play with your brakes every now and then when you're using your throttle. So just keep that in mind if you plan on getting this bike. Um, got it. But uh, to be honest with you, so far, those are the only two drawbacks I've come across. Love the four inch tires. Um, So far, I love the suspension, the front fork suspension. Let me go over this thing. Yep, the suspension seat post. I need to uh, <laughs> tighten up my seat a little bit. It keeps it moving on me. Um, make sure you check all of your nuts and bolts when you first get them to. <laughs> I did have to adjust the brakes a good bit. They were uh, pretty off. I, I don't have them tuned in quite perfectly, but I wanted to get out here and do this video before it starts raining. Um, but man, you talk about power. I didn't realize what a big difference a 500 watt motor and then stepping up to a 700 watt or 750 watt, what difference that would make. Um, now there are some adjustments that you can do in here just like the electric and some of the other e you know popular e-bikes where you can you can change um, the peppiness of it how quick and how hard the thing kicks in on you you can also adjust the top speed 
um, and pretty much everything that you can uh, you can pretty much adjust that on every e-bike but this bike when it came to me I think it was pretty much programmed for everything to be about as peppy and as fast as it could possibly be so I haven't had to do any adjustments on it yet I'm going to get up here on the street and I'm just using put it in assist 5 I'm just going to use uh, throttle only and see how fast I can get on this thing and keep in mind you know I'm a 300 pounder somewhere between about, about 295 or so who knows So I'm using uh, about 550 watts of the motor right now. So it's pretty much top speed at 20 using the throttle. Now see, I took my hand off and the thing is still holding me there. It automatically went into cruise control. So that's something that you really got to keep an eye on. Now I've heard that this bike will actually top out anywhere from right around 28 to, to 30 miles an hour. I'm assuming that's pedal assist, so you probably have to pedal. And, and this thing does have the, uh, the cadence sensor is what, what it uses. So you have to have your pedals turning. You don't have to be helping the bike at all, just moving the pedals. So I'm going to turn around here and go back. Let's see if I can, this car will get, get around me. I need to get a rear view mirror on this thing pretty quick. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to, I'm going to pedal. I'm not really helping it go along, I'm just moving the pedals. We'll see how fast I can get at close to 300 pounds. I've seen people do this review and they're, you know, close to 200, but uh, I'm an extra 100. So. Okay, so I'm at 20, so maybe it's not unlocked. Kind of going up a little incline right now. But I tell you what, this thing, I can definitely tell it's got more power. You can see the watts right now. I just saw it hit 1100 watts. There it is. 1187 watts there for just a second. So, uh, yeah, this thing is real stout. Okay, so the way it is right now, even even using pedal assist, it'll top out around 20 miles an hour. Um, so one thing that I did not talk about on the beginning part of the video, when I was talking about the motor size, was this battery. Um, this battery is a 13 amp hour battery. I think I did show a picture of that in the little unboxing thing there at the beginning. Um, so the website says that with a low pedal assist, this thing can go anywhere from 60 to 80 miles on a charge. Uh, of course, I would assume that's under perfect weather conditions, flat ground, and probably somebody 150 pounds. So I don't expect I would ever get that, but it beats it, it beats the uh, battery that I have now, which is a 10 amp hour, 10.4 amp hour, I think. I think the new electrics are 9. Point, somebody uh, correct me if I'm wrong, 9.4, 9.5 amp hour. This is a 13 amp hour, and the engine uses what they call I-Pass technology 
which is some sort of a battery regenerative uh, system. I'm not exactly sure how that works. I've heard people say that you have to have to turn the pedal assist completely off and drift, and that was, that puts puts stuff back in the battery. I've also heard people say that you need to get up to about 14 or 15 miles an hour and then drift. Um, I'm not too sure, but they say it saves up it's like 85% more efficient. I'm going to have to figure that out as we go. But that's supposed to give you a lot more mileage, which would come in handy with a 750 watt uh, bike. Now, see here, I wanted to give it full, full throttle, and I was in pedal assist one. So it only got me up to that five miles an hour. That's that's the one complaint I really have is I wish you had the full throttle. Um, no matter what pedal assist you're in. But uh, again, this bike is very smooth, very peppy. Matter of fact, even at my size, if I, you know, give it full throttle, I can almost pop a wheelie from a standstill. Now the battery is behind the seat post, along with the motor, and then the uh, frame up front is a lot thinner than the other bike I'm used to. So it's a little more back heavy on the weight, but. Uh, the front's kind of light, so you know, it's not like it's going to pop a wheelie on you and make you wreck or anything, but I, I do feel like if I really tried, I might be able to pop a wheelie on this thing. But, uh, yeah, I can tell a difference between that 500 watt and 750. Now, let me tell you about the price on these things. Currently on... Uh, Ratten's website, I believe this 7 LM and LF, LF being the step through, I think the 750s, I think are, uh, uh shoot, they're, um, either 1200 or 1299, I can't remember, I think they're 12, 1200 or something like that, and then the 500 watt version, you know, if you weigh 200 pounds or less, the 500 watt may be perfect for you. The battery is the same size, so I'd imagine you'd get a lot more distance out of it, too. But it is a couple hundred dollars less. It's uh, $1,099 on the website. Right now, they've got a Christmas, uh, uh, Christmas special going on. If you buy one bike, I think you can get $150 off the list price. If you buy multiple bikes, you can add another 50, so you can get 100 or $200 off. Uh, I think per bike. So uh, if you if you order more than one, which really, yeah, I mean, makes this thing you know a thousand dollars, eleven hundred dollars for 750 watt uh, motor, 10 amp hour battery. Or I'm sorry, 13 amp hour battery. Um, combo you know with the fenders with the lights uh you know you'll probably i'll get used to the throttle i'm sure on the different assists i just have to get that into my head same thing with the uh with the cruise control you'll get used to that but for the price and the power somebody my size man this bike is perfect you know i love my other bike the 500 watt uh, and we'll keep them and we'll still ride them. But as far as being here where I am in West Virginia, we've got these hills and mountains. And if I know I'm going to a hilly area, 
Man, this bike would be perfect. Plus, I really like the color. Um, I like this green and black combo. Okay, guys, that's the re that's the review. If anybody's interested in this bike, the Ratten LM750 or the Ratten LF750. I've got a uh, coupon code in the description. Um, it'll give you fifty dollars off of your purchase. Like I said before, they currently have a, a Christmas special going on. I'm not sure when it ends. Uh, probably right up till Christmas. Uh, you can get a uh, hundred and fifty off your bike um, with a coupon code that's on their website. If you buy more than one, you get another fifty dollars off. So I guess it's two hundred per bike if you're interested. Um, after that, uh, my coupon code will be good for fifty off. So uh, I'll put both the coupon coupon code in the description as well as Ratten's website. Go to their rep website and. Uh, you can take advantage of those discounts if you're interested in this bike. Um, we'll have this bike on quite a few other videos. We'll be testing out the longevity of the battery and uh, power up hills, you know, in more detail and stuff like that. But overall, I'm very impressed with it. I really like this uh, cord wrap they have. It's a zippered thing. So if you need to get to your wires to change them out, you can just unzip this and get your wires apart. You know, fix whatever you need to fix, wrap them back, you know, fold it back up around there, zip it back up. So, really attractive looking bike. I actually had a guy that was doing some roofing um, out the road here, yell down from the roof, nice bike, where'd you get it? So, I had to stop and let him know. Uh, so, anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. This is John. And uh, hope you have a great afternoon, great day, whatever the case may be. God bless you, and we'll see you on the next video. More with the Rattin. Bye-bye. <laughs>